he did before the injury. It's a level of fearlessness that only a few guys possess. And it's not teachable. You either have it or you don't. And here's Sessions following the three-pointer by Derrick Rose. And Sessions kicks to Nene. Thornton. Soft touch off the glass. He's got eight. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. And, you know, back to D. Rose. He, he grew up in a brutally dangerous neighborhood on Chicago's south side. Some of that fearlessness, that competitiveness he exhibits was learned early on out of necessity. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. Couple that with just how well they've shot it from beyond, and they've made this thing look easy. Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for Chicago. And here's Rose outside. Rose with another miss. Washington's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Here's Sessions. And Miritic sends it back. They recover it. Chicago leading by 22. Now Butler. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Fires from the line. Hickson, a follow-up champ. Showing us a little force on that putback, Kev. Well, there was no way he was going to let that chance slip away. No, sir. Hey, guys, but how about the positioning there when the shot went up? Beautiful. They get it back. Goes up again. Noah's shot is off. Washington's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Dudley, no luck. Bull shooting has just been outstanding tonight. 56% as a team in this game. Shoots from the baseline. That's good for Miritich on the assist by Rose. Rose has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Thornton with it. He's got nine. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. That's his first personal foul at the line. And he makes the first. Marcus Thornton. Two shots. And so he makes both from the line. And Chicago has possession. From deep, Rose. Rose with another miss. Sessions. No good. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one. And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. The Wizards are shooting here about 46% for the game. Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. So the Bulls five right now. The big men are Gibson and Noah. Rose is the one with Butler is the two. And it's McDermott in at the three spot. Well, this is nothing new. There is some debate on how successful max contracts have been in the NBA. A lot of players have demanded max contract money but haven't lived up to the pay. And in my opinion, there are only about 15 guys worthy of max contracts in the league in any given year. Rose, no good. He has got a lot of confidence in his game. You have to if you think you can knock one down from there. Yeah, I, you know, I think he maybe needs some time for some direct admonishment. Here's Rose after the made shot from Bradley Beal. Here's McDermott. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got his fifth assist in this one. Man, they came out smoking here from beyond. And Greg, as hot as they are from out there, absolutely no reason at all not to just keep letting them fly. And there's a foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That'll be his second foul of the game. Markeith Morris has checked in for the Wizards. Markeith Morris. Beal against Butler from about 19 feet. Beal with another miss. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. 
And Gibson, here we go. It's stolen by Morris. Gibson with the steal. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. That's his second personal foul. First one falls for him. Hey, you know, guys, Todd Gibson now has six full seasons in the NBA, already 30 years old. Seems like just yesterday he was being drafted. And both free throws good from Gibson. Getting back to Gibson, he was one of the oldest college freshmen in the country at age 21, played three years at USC. Then he was one of the oldest players in the 2009 draft, even though he declared as a junior. Yeah, I think the NBA is the only profession where it hurts you to have a lot of experience coming yeah. out, you know, because that's one reason why he did drop. I mean, had he been a couple years younger, with his length and athleticism, he very well could have been a top 10 pick. But I tell you what, the Bulls are happy that he was. Chicago calls timeout. Well, the game's getting bigger, going international. But at least in the U.S., it really seemed the game is going indoors. Back in the day, the legends of the game still played on the blacktop. That's becoming a thing of the past. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Pass to Butler. Back to Rose. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Gasol. Gorchot with the rebound. And speaking, Clark, of playground basketball, why do you think that is that the players are going indoors? Well, I think one reason is playing on hardwood is nicer. It's easier on your joints and safer overall. The game has changed and it's big Four business three. now, but there are still plenty of weekend warriors who get their hoop on outside. And here's Rose following the three-pointer by John Wall. Let's it go with a three. Rose, no good. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. And there's Morris. That's good on the assist from Porter. And that's now six points for Markeith Morris. In the corner, it's McDermott. The three. And again, no good by Chicago. You know, even though he missed that one, great shooters have a way of feeling when they've got enough room to pull the trigger. And no doubt about it. The defense, you can see him exhaling right now. Fortunate that he didn't knock that one down. Rose passes to McDermott. And again, Chicago. No good. It's Wall with the drive. Another shot. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they've needed it. We've seen John Wall handling his business. He has 20 points, and he's knocked down a pair of three-pointers in this game, too. And maybe it's time for them to set a few more screens for him up top and let him add to that total. Porter with it. Now defended by McDermott. Wall against Gibson. Goes up on the wing. And again, John Wall. Wall's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Wizards. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Wall against Rose. To end the drought. Washington with the rebound. Beal's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Porter. Cannot hit. Great D that time from Gibson. Chicago leading by nine. Here's Butler. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. And that's how the coach would draw it up on the fast break from start to finish. Yeah, and what a finish it was, guys. Really nicely done. And Wall kicks to Beal. Rebounded by McDermott. And McDermott's got three rebounds so far in the game. And that one's good. And it's now 23 points for Jimmy Butler. He's got some serious momentum going right now. He's been great all day. Even last game, he was on fire. They get it back. Gortat and terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. Where's the box out? Some easy second chance opportunities there. Those kinds of mistakes drive me crazy and will absolutely derail a team's chance to win. Joe Kim Noah is checked in for the Bulls. Joe Kim Noah. Washington calls timeout. They trail by 11. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth.
and Washington has possession. They trail by 11. A floater, Wall, that's good. Wall's got 17 points here in the second half. Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Textbook, really, when you look at how they're playing, they are having their way down low. And here's Rose outside. Beal pulls it in. Beal's got his seventh rebound here tonight. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Morris, no good. And Chicago shooting 49% on the game. They'll take that. Got a piece of it. That is good. And the Bulls lead by 11. And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for Chicago. Clark, the differential in assists led to a lot of open looks and also helped to get, um, you know, more guys involved in the offense easy. They made the defense adjust by moving the ball like that, and there was no answer for it. And with this win, they'll end up notching another victory for this year's campaign, win number 33. And, and once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. The stats tell us, Greg, that the winner of the first game is a big favorite to come out on top in the overall series. And beyond the actual result of this game, fans are going to look back and, and see this was just a monstrous performance for a Butler. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot hand. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. To the middle, here's Portis. Good, and a nice assist from Noah. And they're not finished just yet. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, not taking any chances, Greg. This is how you close a game out. Textbook. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're losing by 12. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Aaron 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Outside wall. It's Nene, high post. Chicago grabs the miss. Here's Miritich. Rebounded by Dudley. And here's Wall. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, and I thought good execution really played a big part throughout. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Well, pal, congratulations on the win. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we get a chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Jimmy Butler. During the second half, it seemed like he was simply on a mission. Really didn't let up. I can't imagine a player having a better night from the field than he had tonight. His shooting percentage was off the charts. He used every trick in the book to get those high percentage shots. He shot from every direction, and there was a little bit of luck here and there, but he was on fire. Well, you know when Butler's on the court, he's going to come at you in all sorts of ways. I mean, defensively, offensively, this guy could just fat out play. Let's not forget he's an all-star. And that brings us to the end of our broadcast for this evening. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson saying good night, and we'll see you again soon, but not. <laughs>